Hey guys, for Dr. Isaiah, we're going to talk about one of our tempo drills. We use it for uh, rhythmic running mechanics and understanding each person's awareness and running motion. Okay? We use the hurdle because we're going to take two, three steps actually to each side of the hurdle and we're running with good form, being sure that our knees are coming in front of us, not flipping behind us. One of the most common misconceptions is that knee height happens and occurs because of knee leaning back. When you literally tell your kids, bring your knees up, most of them will lean back because that is how they assume it happens. Understand that their swing is more important to that. If their elbows are staying locked at this position, you're not going to get knee height. You're not. The swing of your sprint comes from your shoulder to the elbow. This happens. It's what most commonly called cheek to cheek, here and here. Okay? The 90 degree term is relative. You'll have some people a little more than 90 degrees. you have some people that are exactly at 90 degrees. Yes, closer may be preferred, but there's tons of sprinters, elite sprinters, that do not run completely 90-90, okay? And you can't tell me you cannot teach speed unless it's 90-90. So, with that being said, we wanna start. One, two, this foot's gonna push me back over one, two, push, one, two, push, okay? Now when that starts, this is what it looks like a little faster. One, two, push, one, two, push, one, two, push, push, one, two, push, one, two, push, one, two, push, okay? Now, important part, knee up, toe up, knee up, toe up. This is foot Dr. Isaiah, and this is one of our single hurdle tempo runs.